Uh, my name is Janine Koch, I'm from Aalto University in Finland and I'm in the end of my PhD currently um, and I'm working on applying machine learning in AI technology and creativity uh, in particular in inspirational processes working with designers how can actually an AI play a role as an active participant in a collaborative way with designers to find new inspiration or to reflect on inspiration. Well, the thing is like when I look at um, collaborations with machines and humans, there's a huge aspect on how humans think and how humans represent actually the way they understand and make sense out of what they're doing. So if we want to have machines that actually work together with humans in this um, collaboration, then we actually have to uh, respect that the process that meaning is made and reflection is done in the way we are building these AI structures and the way we are like using machine learning for this purpose. So for example in my work I actually use AI technology from very different fields and applied that because it made sense in the process and not necessarily as a common way to do it in machine learning. So the human AI project what I understand is very basically human-centered AI. So so if we want to build collaborators that actually make meaningful improvements of the world, meaningful innovations, we have to look in how this can be meaningful for humans. So that is kind of where I see we should focus actually that it's meaningful for the human and not necessarily for the system. I mean, that has certain implications about explainability, how the systems can explain themselves, how can systems explain its reasoning, because reasoning is important, for example, if you gather ideas and do brainstorming, um, in this case, um, but also about like the whole aspect of sense-making, uh, semantics that are related to that, especially when we talk about abstract ideas or concepts that we're actually developing. Yeah. There's a lot of aspects on that. Um, yeah, and then this whole aspect of learning. What does it actually mean to learn in this context where we actually don't know where we are going? So we do some, we start some idea brainstorming. We don't know where we go. So we learn over the course of actually talking to each other. How is that done in a system? And all these aspects are very related on how humans actually understand this process and do it naturally. Um, that doesn't mean that AIs have to do the same but they have to acknowledge and be built towards that. That's a, a good question. I think um, there is certainly, I see a need, especially when you talk about collaborative AI, I certainly see a need of integrating, for example, more psychologists and social scientists in the work, basically uh, working on how do we actually do collaboration with, uh, with uh, machines, but also within humans. Um, so projects could relate to um, what is actually grounding, what is actually sense-making in human and in human AI interactions um, and things like that, but also kind of like, um, like investing a lot of money of developing new approaches based on, for example, human behavior. Um, so I'm, for example, do a lot of like design studies before I start designing systems to basically see how humans do it. So if we, I think, look at several of these processes, we might actually find patterns that allow us to build better um, AI and machine learning approaches in this context. Do you have a one-liner on that? <laughs> No. <laughs> to be honest, no. I think there's, there's so many work to be done on different aspects. Um, on the machine learning side, we have to stop thinking about, I have a goal and that's what I want to automate because like the value is in basically developing ourselves together with machines, um, which means our, uh, developing the human and the machine at the same time. So that we need new approaches there, but we also have to better understand how do we actually think? How do we actually get inspiration? How do we actually do innovation? So, and like mapping these in interaction actually uh, is way more complex than I have a one-liner for that.